losing $141 trading silver. What's going on, guys? Welcome on in for a recap. Um, we're back in action, and um, we're back on the 25K account, which the past, like, month now has been pretty, pretty bad. I mean, in terms of my performance, in terms of the setup, they're just not working. I don't know what else to say. It's just not working. You'll see the trade setup here was really good, I thought. Um, met my criteria beautifully and just didn't work. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to get into a little bit of why in just a minute, but recap like usual. On this account, we do not risk more than $200 on a given trade. And I took it on one, one account, the 25K account. That's it. No trade copy or just one account raw. That's it. Uh, and it was on silver. So let's get into why. Uh, I was watching silver and we have is a very strong uptrend. We have, you can say, is maybe a bull flag setting up if you want to, you know, get cute like that. So you, I don't trade necessarily based off a downtrend break, which if I did, I would have gotten in on silver over here. Uh, I did not. I play more horizontal. I'm open to the idea of testing these downtrend breaks in the future. And I may have done a couple, but very rarely um, that I do that. I just have more data on the horizontal and I prefer those for now. I took this on the four hour time frame, So my entry was actually right here on the breakout up in here when silver broke out after CPI. Now, is it a risk to get in after CPI? Yes. It is. The reason why I did it was because it held up for about 15, 20, 30 minutes or whatever the time frame was. I can go to the five minute chart and you can see, you know, when we broke above that level, we were above there for, you know, a, a period of time. And then silver came back above and it was holding up, at least in my view, for at least 15, 20, 30 minutes. And I was like, okay, I, I'm going to take the play. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we got the look and it just completely reversed. I, you could say, oh, you shouldn't have traded CPI. Well, I didn't trade before the CPI, I waited till after CPI. And then when we get the catalyst and all, all I look at CPI and things like that is just a catalyst to move market, to move price. And uh, we got the price to move above the level I was looking for. I knew that after the news has come out, the risk of, you know, craziness uh, based off of a news release or someone talking is minimized because the news is already out. So I got in. And we just didn't follow through. Simple as that. No follow through. Now you can also go out and say, well, you know, what else is going on here? You know, the dollar and is, is the dollar uh, fitting, you know, your, your look. Yeah, it actually is. Uh, the dollar looks like actual shit. I mean, the dollar is breaking down. So you would think based off of this, that silver should go up, but I don't trade based off of that because I don't, I, I like to look at charts and, and lines and levels versus trying to think about what should happen based on what I'm seeing in the other things. And I don't, I don't, who cares? It's, irre it's irrelevant. But what's only relevant is a chart here. That's all relevant to me. Did silver go and it didn't go. So inside of this, uh, you also had kind of a wedge break. So you had like this wedge that was setting up on silver. We broke that wedge and then it popped off. And then I played once we broke that high because I'm looking for a break above that high and a move to now break into the new high territory of the year. That was what I was looking for, and it was a swing trade. It just so happened that the trade ended up stopping me out about 20 hours later, and uh, silver just completely cucked and reversed. I mean, what else can you say? Uh, I mean, I don't know. So that's it. Uh, will it go again one day? Maybe. I think it still looks okay. I mean, not for me to trade it again, but I'm saying it doesn't look bad as in like if it holds a higher low here and, and pulls up, I wouldn't be surprised if it did that, but it just didn't work. So you minimize your risk and that's it. I was looking for a nearly a $300 gain on this trade um, had it worked. So I think it was a good, it was a, it was a good two to one risk reward trade. Um, so losing 141, not a big deal. It is what it is. And uh, going into the current stats after now, all of the data trades all, by the way, I mean, you guys are awesome because they literally came in and added the new broker that I have with the new funded account on the prop firm that I've got. They added that. And now we've got the new broker locked and loaded, ready to go. Um, so yeah, we're all this, this is all accurate. Everything is in all the trades that we've done are in for the month so far. And uh, we are currently up $61, believe it or not, despite a 35% win rate, which I have to say is pretty fucking good. Um, if you're asking me, uh, nearly at 1.25 average win loss. So I'm happy with that number as well. That's the recap. I'll leave links below to all this stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.